Tesco QE2 Reservoir in Greater London where a new kind of energy project is underway. And while the idea is a new, this will be the largest floating solar array in Europe. More than 23,000 PV panels will be floated on the reservoir near Walton-on-Thames, covering around a tenth of the water surface. That's enough to fill eight Wembley football pitches. The array will generate 6.3 megawatts of electricity, which is equivalent to the needs of around 1,800 homes in the UK. But the power will be used at Thames Water's nearby water treatment works in Hampton. Here, there's no land available for traditional solar arrays, so using the redundant water space makes sense and has the added benefit of needing no planning permission. For the man behind the project, it's been a long journey, but worthwhile. This project is part of our energy strategy to provide um, uh, a more e energy efficient and lower carbon service to our customers. Providing water to London's customers is very energy intensive. You can only go so far with energy efficiency. After that, you have to look at how you can reduce the carbon content by generating renewables uh, yourself. And in, in terms of renewable technology, um, solar is a good match to the, water, uh, to the water business. Building such a major project is very expensive, but Thames Water doesn't own it and will instead buy the electricity from renewable company LightSource under a power purchase agreement. It is funding the project to the tune of six and a half million pounds without any subsidies from government. But is this feasible in the long run? We've got massive targets already set for next year, and that's going to be subsidy free. And I think that the benefit of that is before we've obviously had the government as one of the elements of what we were trying to do. So with the government, with the grid, with planning, now we've got the government out of the equation. So all we've got is grid and planning to worry about. So I think it's going to get bigger, it's going to get bolder, um, and we're going to see more projects like this actually happen. So despite the lack of financial support from government, developers are keen to expand the sector, and it seems the solar industry has a bright future ahead after all. Priyank Shrestha, Energy Live News, London.